Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and um, this is more of like a bright eye. Uh, um, it's got like a little bit of a darker shade to it but it's like ways to brighten your eyes a little bit because the inner corner is like super bright and um this is a little bit different for me too because I'm not wearing a winged liner so I don't know it's kind of weird this is more of like a Jacqueline Hill inspired if you know who she is you should know who she is if you don't where have you been under a rock or something but this is like a Jacqueline Hill inspired type of makeup look um it is very similar to her colors um different lip but basically almost the same eyes but you know completely different colors but can we tell me how I, we like it because um one I can't speak two uh this is like everybody's wearing like this type of hairstyle except for like my bangs are supposed to be you know back with it but you know I can't I can't do that such thing but it's just like you know the little little bitty poof thingy with the ponytail type thing like a half up half down type thing but with the anyways I don't know how I like it I feel like as Marissa Loy said in her I don't know what it was but I feel like I look like a five year old I feel like I look like a five year old like a child of some sort but um, I kind of like it. It's kind of like, you know, gives me a lot, a lot of volume looking to my hair. But I'm not sure. It's a work in progress. I also feel like I look like a, you know, a genie. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so we're going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And then first we're going to be taking this salted caramel color and then we're going to be taking a blended brush and we're going to just put that in our entire crease, the outer all the way to the inner, just blending back and forth, making sure we really get that color into that crease. Then we're taking Semi Sweet, which is just like a mediumly dark chocolate. And then we're taking a fluffy blending brush, and then we're just going to put that on the entire outer V part of our lid, making it like a subtle brown smoky type thing. Because if you put it on the outer and not the inner, it really makes the eyes pop more. So we're just going to really blend that onto the outer part. And then I'm going to go back in with the salted caramel color, just really putting that color into the crease. And I'm going to go back and forth between this and the semi-sweet, going back and forth from the outer to the crease. Just putting the co those colors both on my eyes. See, again, the semi-sweet right now, I'm just going to continuously just like go back and forth till I'm pleased with the color. And then I'm going to go in with the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm going to be taking the color beige which is just a very light like beigey skin toned shimmery shade and then I'm just going to put this 
all over the lid from the inner to basically the outer just to brighten up the eyes and give it a little bit more pop again to make the eyes brighter so I just have like a subtle sheeny color not too much glitter or sheen and then I'm just gonna go right back in with the blending brush and then just blend to to get rid of all those really harsh lines and then I'm gonna go in with semi sweet again and then just put this on the lower lash line about the three-fourths of the way I don't want to put it all the way in because we are trying to brighten up our eyes so we just want it on the outer three-fourths Then we're going in with white chocolate, which is just a really pretty creamy matte white color. And we're just going to highlight the inner corner, like really highlight the inner corner all the way down to the quarter lash line, mixing in with that brown color and then all the way into the inner corner. Just to again make that brighter and then to highlight the brow bone, of course. And then we're going to do some liquid liner, and I'm not going to do the typical wing I usually do. We're just going to keep this a little bit more simple and subtle, and we're just going to do a very thin line. Um, about like three-fourths of the way, not all the way to the inner corner, because again, we want to brighten. So no wing, and as thin as possible. But you still want a little bit of liner, so like a, just a good thin line. And we're just going to be taking a white jumbo pencil just to water, to line our waterline, just so it gives us that more of a brighter opened eye. Because if you add a black liner to the bottom, then it's just going to make them seem closed and not as bright. Then we're going to go in with champagne truffle, which is just this really pretty, like, subtle, like, light pink champagne color and I'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones after I've already done all of my makeup highlight concealer and contour so I'm just going to highlight the cheekbones just because I think that this color is a really pretty highlight color and I'm just going in with my finger to blend it out a little bit more and make sure that there's no harsh lines as you could tell right there so I'm just going to blend that with my finger Then I'm taking this gorgeous Ulta Matte Lip Cream in the color Striking. Absolutely love it. It is like this purpley pink matte lips liquid lipstick type thing, but it is this really pretty purpley pink shade that I adore. Okay, so I just done um, some fake eyelashes. I just done the Ardell Glamour Wispies. Um, and I just put mascara on the bottom and then done my full face and bronzer highlighter. If you want to see how I done that, then just go ahead and I think it's this side right here. I can never remember what side it is. Excuse me. It's one of these squares. Click one of the sides and it's also down below if you want to see how I highlight and contour and um, also wait like 20 to 30 minutes for this to dry as you can see in when I was applying it it is really liquidy um, and it's like a little sloppy uh, so you gotta be careful but after that then it will completely dry matte but that is the only things that I did it was just a full face and then added mascara and eyelashes I hope you liked this video. Don't forget, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.